Hello, I'm Harry Carey Jr. And welcome to Legends of the American West. You know, I think more than anything else, the movies have given us our image of the West. It all started way back with men like William S. Hart, Tom Mix, Hoot Gibson, and of course my dad, Harry Carey. Then later on, men like Gary Cooper and the Duke, John Wayne, they carried on the tradition. You know, I've been real fortunate in my career because I've been a screen actor for over 40 years, and during that period of time, I've been in some of the best Westerns ever made. That was real lucky. The first great Western I made was called Red River, and it starred John Wayne, Montgomery Clift, and Joe Andrew. Not too long after that, like my dad before me, I went to work for one of the greatest directors that ever lived, John Ford. As a matter of fact, I became a member of the John Ford Stock Company. And for him, I made The Three Godfathers, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, Wagon Master, Rio Grande, and The Searchers. But you know, as great as those films were, I don't think they gave an accurate depiction of the way the real West was. Because those pictures were made to entertain, not to educate. Oh, sure, there was romance and action and heroes and bad guys. But the West was a hard and very, very wild place to live. And many men that tried to tame it had to pay for it with their lives. But they still kept coming West in spite of the hardship and the danger. Because they were people that believed that just over the next mountain or just beyond the next valley or across the next river was a better life for those that had courage enough to make that journey. And they came by the thousands. From the time America was first settled, people looked westward. But it would be many decades before the American cowboy emerged on the scene. First came the expeditions beyond the Mississippi River in the early 1800s. From this, settlements sprung up just west of the river. But beyond this point, the only white men were fur traders and mountain men who lived among the Indians and blazed new trails to the west. In the